going to speak very soon to Antonia Tully from the Society for the Protection of Unborn Children and Anne Faraday from the British Pregnancy Advisory Service. But first of all, just to give you some context for this, we're talking about it because it's in Corrie. I don't know if you, if you watch it, but 14-year-old Amy Barlow is seeking an abortion and her parents don't know about it. Should the parents know? 0800 756 1111. It's the question that our reporter Joe Byrne asked these people in Kent about. I, I think it's disgusting, really. I think under the age of 16, you should have to go with a parent, I think. I know it's got to be confidential, but if that was my 14 year old daughter, I, you know, that could have been all done behind your back. And if something went wrong, no, I think, I think um, parents should be informed, definitely. 14 year olds should make the decision, but like, the parents should advise. The parents, like, you're still a child at 14. I would hope they will tell you that you have to go and tell your own parents even if they have to be with you so you have to be with your parents yeah. still but it's still someone out there that you can go and talk to yeah. if you felt like you couldn't talk to your parents it depends what sort of parent they are our, our mum would be really cool but some some kids aren't so close to their parents so but i think as you're 14 you're still a child i know i wouldn't be able to make that a decision like that at 14 so i think a parent should have input definitely if it's a problem then you obviously need to tell someone but like if you're afraid of the answer then people might not necessarily want to tell people because it's like important that you know i think it depends on the relationship she's got with her parent but me as a parent yes i'd want to know but if if a 14 year old is not got a relationship with a parent then maybe she can't approach that parent so sad as it is tricky huh well let's discuss this now with antonia tully from the society for the protection of Un the unborn child and Anne Faraday from the british pregnancy advisory service and um, and if i could start actually by putting that question to you that came in from lisa i mean what if the child is in a, an abusive situation? They might not even realise that this is abuse. They might think this is a, a relationship because they're so young. Can't can't you tell the, the parents or the police then? Yeah, well, I, I think the really important thing to understand with this is that it's not a question of the rights to, of a young person to not tell their parents. It, what's really at the centre of this and, and what's the big concern for in, say, our clinics it's actually all about safeguarding the young person. And I don't think that the way that it was presented in the clip is the way that it works right. when somebody comes into an abortion clinic. Okay. Because, I, I mean, it really isn't, because the first thing that you would be concerned about with a 14-year-old is how they got pregnant, um, who the boy or the man is, because what you really want to sort out is that that young person has not been abused. Yeah. And of course, what you're concerned about is making sure that they've got the proper support. So in fact, you can only, a doctor can only treat the young person if one, they have talked to them and, tr and tried to persuade them actually to involve their parents, because that's obviously the best thing. And if the doctor thinks it's in the best interests of the child. So typically what happens is that young people do come with their parents or in fact if there isn't a way that they can involve their parents they come with another responsible adult and if not then in fact we have to involve the social services and that's simply the law that's the way that we have to operate. Interesting interesting to see you know how Corey have maybe dramatised this a little bit I wonder what Antonia thinks I mean do you think the law, as Anne's just explained, is, is about right at the moment to protect our young people? Well, I don't think the law really is protecting our young people. Um, I think this whole storyline in Coronation Street actually has been a massive wake-up call to parents that a 14-year-old can access medical treatment, including abortion, um, without their parents. And I completely um, sympathise with the people who you interviewed um, on the street because there'll be lots of people who'll be looking at their 14-year-old now, you know, eating her breakfast, getting ready for school and thinking, would I want my child to go through the trauma of an abortion without me knowing? I thought it was very interesting in Coronation Street um, <clears throat> that the girl, I mean, you see her, her immaturity there mm. um, and she's got all her advice from the internet in the first instance. And I think this is a real, I mean, my plea is, to pa is for parents to really uh, get involved with your child, involved with your child's life, um, talk to them about these sort of issues so they know that they can go to you in the first place so that we don't have 14-year-olds um, going to um, abortion clinics 
um, with, without, um, without any proper support, indeed not going to abortion clinics at all, because there is another way here. And I think this is being explored in the storyline. The parents are saying, you know, we have your baby and we'll, we'll support you through it and, and, and bring up the baby. Yeah, I mean, that's the next stage of it. You know, she initially does, they don't know about it, but obviously that's how the, the plot line unravels in this case. Mm. I mean, and what do you make of that? I mean, Antonia's well, saying, you know, the parents need to be more involved from what you're saying actually oh, for heaven's sake, sake, of course of course i'm a mother myself you know of course the idea of your 14 year old 15 year old 16 year old your 18 year old daughter being in uh, a, 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 a deeply troubling situation and not talking to you about it is is not what any of us want but I'm just saying, and I think it's really, really important, no 14-year-old can walk in to an abortion clinic and say, I just want those pills, and be given those pills, and walk out without there being a responsible adult. And the fact that a young person hasn't directly involved their parents is not always because of a bad relationship. One, one instance sits in my mind of a 15-year-old girl who came to our clinic and she hadn't told her mum because her mum had just had a miscarriage mm. and she just felt it would be just too bad for her mum. But, of course, she'd come with her boyfriend's mum and that is typically the way that these things work. I, normally, a girl will involve her own parents if for one reason or another she doesn't feel that she can do that, there will be another responsible adult. But the doctor still has to talk to her about involving her own parents. And never, never does anyone get treated without support. We would be closed by the Care Quality Commission if, if, if we operated in a way that was just like, you know, giving a young girl smarties. Yeah, I mean, Antonia, does that give you peace of mind? Uh, not really, no, because I've listened to really, really heartbreaking stories from families where a teenage daughter has got pregnant. Um, the propaganda to abort is huge. The pressure to abort is huge. That's the first thing people think of, get rid of the pregnancy. And it's such a quick process. The pressure is to have the abortion as quickly as possible. They, um, actually, and no. So many people the say they feel they've been on a conveyor okay, belt. one at a time. Anne, did you want to respond to that? Yeah, I mean, no, actually, the, 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 the pressure on anyone of any age when they come into a clinic is to make sure that they have properly considered their decision. And the big difference here the, be, between the two of us is that you... Antonia, are fundamentally opposed to abortion in Absolutely, all circumstances. Yes. You, you work for an organization called the Society for the Protection of the Unborn yeah. Child, which is in principle opposed to abortion. Absolutely, EPS. yes, you are absolutely correct, Anne, and you run an abortion industry, Anne, which is making okay, money um, out of Antonia now, then, go the on. lives of unborn babies. So let's be very clear about the organizations that we work for, Anne. Yeah, mine, the, the organization that I run carries out a third of the abortions that take place yeah. in this country. A third of unborn babies are, are killed in your, by, in your we clinic. We are paid and... by the NHS to do so, and we're regulated by the Care Quality Commission, and we have to operate under the law. So you have an ideological opposition to abortion you're opposed to it in principle okay do you know I what um, we need to move on and we're not going to find any agreement here i can tell so uh, it's a conversation that we will continue i'm sure another time here on bbc radio kent sorry to cut you off um, but as i say time is a little bit against us that's Anne Faraday from the british pregnancy advisory service and antonio tully from the society of the protection for the unborn child